severe weather season is here. Hurricane season runs from June to November, and tornadoes can occur with little or no warning, giving you only minutes to make life-saving decisions. Tim Mitchell is the Deputy Director of Cumberland County Emergency Services, and he offers us some safety tips for severe weather. Severe weather affects North Carolina and Cumberland County in a whole lot of different ways. We have a variety of different kinds of weather. Um, anything from just a normal day thunderstorm to severe thunderstorms, tornadoes, hurricanes, depends on pretty much what type of the season it is. Our tornado season runs from March all the way into June. Um, hurricane season starts in June and runs through November. But we can have tornadoes, severe thunderstorms any time of the year, um, pretty much any month of the year. Severe thunderstorms these days, they, you have to have winds of 58 miles an hour or three quarter inch size hail. Um, we have had a lot of that in the last few years. Um, tornadoes last year, um, we actually had two tornadoes to strike in the same day. You know, we ranked fifth in the country as far as tornadoes go. We also ranked first for nighttime deaths. A lot of our tornadoes come early morning, late at night. You can't see them, so without um, weather radios or some type of pre-warning device, people just don't see them and, and it's hard for them to get and that's why we have a lot of deaths. Before we really get kicked up in the active season, we really need to make a emergency plan, a family plan. We need to take those plans and, and have the whole family involved. With those plans, you need to know where you're gonna meet. Are we gonna evacuate? How are we gonna, where, you need emergency contact information on it. A lot of times we recommend that you make an out of state contact because during a disaster or a storm, Local lines are a lot of times tied up, so it's easier to make an out-of-state call than it is a local call. So that way that you can, everybody can call that out-of-state contact and our folks will, that way everybody will have one point of contact. We need to make an emergency kit. We call them 72-hour kits. Um, that's enough water, food, and supplies for three days at least. We recommend a week. 72 hours or three days is very minimum and that consists of a gallon of water per person per day and enough non-perishable foods to last for those three days. You gotta make sure that pets are took care of. Shelters, for the most, do not take pets, so we have to make some arrangements. Make arrangements with friends or families or check around, you can contact our office. We have a list of pet-friendly motels here in the county that can be took care of as far as that goes. Let's talk about a watch a little bit. A watch goes into that conditions are favorable at that time. Doesn't necessarily mean that a storm is going on, but it's can are very favorable. During a warning, um, it's pretty much imminent that that's going to happen. It may not be in your direct area, but some portion in that area that the warning has been put out in that it we are going to have a storm within a few minutes. We push NOAA weather radios a whole lot. Um, that is the best warning device that you can have. It works in the middle of the night. The weather service sends out a tone. It alerts these weather radios. It, it's a 24 hour a day continuous broadcast. When these warnings come out, it also broadcasts the warnings for a particular area. The weather service came out with a program a year or so ago of get in, get down, and cover up. They modeled that after the fire services stop, drop, and roll. And what that means is get in, we want you to get inside into a sturdy structure, go to the center of that structure to a well-designed safe area, such as a bathroom or a closet in the middle of the structure. Also, to get down, make sure you're on the lowest floor of that building. And to cover up, we want you to cover your head up either with pillows, blankets, even a mattress if it's possible to get one in there. We want you to stay away from windows because of flying debris, break those windows, and that's why we want people to cover up. Debris causes more fatalities than anything else flying debris during storms like this. Well, our biggest thing is we try to push is just be prepared, be prepared before the storm strikes. Um, make sure that you have your emergency kits together. Just remember it's, it's really simple. I always tell folks, remember the four F's. 
make sure you have a flashlight with extra batteries, you have food, you have fuel, and you have funds because ATM machines and cash registers a lot of times don't work with the electronic age that we in, so you always need a little cash in your emergency fund.